guys welcome to my channel so today I thought that I would go ahead and do just my own personal review of the new Simon Hurley lunar paste um, I got it yesterday and I played with it a lot had a lot of fun with it and I got got the uh, packaging that is mislabeled so Simon says it's a collector I, I item so I'm feeling pretty privileged I really like the um, container it comes in. There's a good size bottle and there's a lot in there. I'm telling you, look how shiny that is. Um, the bottle it comes in itself is kind of a squishy. It's not a hard plastic and I really like that about it. So it keeps it a little bit lighter weight. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I foresee reusing those and they all coincide with the colors um, of his ink pads bee sting traffic cone slippery when wet later gator and clear skies and they go perfectly you'll see i, I completed a card with uh, both using both um and there are multiple multiple uses for these things and so what i wanted to kind of do today was show you some of the things you can do so this is just a, ba a black and 3d embossed piece of paper and I'm going to take the Slippery One Wet, which is a beautiful, beautiful golden color. And this is a pad that I used yesterday, and it's plenty soft, perfect to work with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to very lightly go over the, um, the raised portions of this embossed piece of paper. And, you know, yeah, hold that up so you can see it a little bit better just really lightly because i only want the raised parts and i'm you know i dabbed off my little ink pad on the or my little little pad on the inside of the lid so i didn't get too much and accidentally go into the crevices but this gives a super cool gilded look to your plain black paper and this is just black paper from recollections I'll leave a link down below where you can get it. Uh, for the most part, I used only Simon Hurley and Ranger products because, you know, why not? Happen to shop there a lot, <laughs> and I love the product. So, so there's that one, and cleanup's really easy. You just want to kind of dab that down to get the excess off, and, you know, you will have to replace them, but we'll do another one, this one, on a white, and I'm going to go ahead and grab the Clear Skies. And this, I'm gonna do a little bit thicker application because I'm gonna just kind of rub it on with that pad and get it um, completely covered. And it dries pretty quick. The luster is just gorgeous. And you can do more than one layer if you want the color a little bit darker. And I'm just kind of, it's drying so quickly that I'm having to add more. Um, instead of being able to spread it out so you know that's good news because we're going to do that same technique after this which is to put another color just on the raised portions and i'm going to go in with the later gator i think and just to kind of make a kind of a happy cheerful color colorful little background panel now the discoloration, the reason that it's coloring like that is because I did wet my paper before I put it in the uh, embossing folder and I believe portions of it were still a little bit wet because yeah, I'm in a hurry most of the time. Let's go in with the later gator here and just glaze over the top just like we did with the last one. My little ink pad's falling apart on me here. It's real easy, real quick, and comes out just gorgeous. I can't get over how shiny and pearly these things are. So now that we've done the light application, let's go ahead and do a heavier application here. Um, but I did want to show you how easy this is to clean up. Just water. Just plain water and a paper towel. While it's wet, you know, I mean... If you let it dry, you're likely going to have to scrub a little bit harder or maybe use some hand sanitizer. But honestly, 
water's fine. And can you paint with it? Yes, you can. So I painted the little doggy jacket there. And all you need to do is just grab a paintbrush. And you know, um, these aren't expensive paintbrushes, but they're not cheap either. So I'm um, just gonna go in and paint it on just like any other paint, really. It's a little bit thicker, so you're going to do some spreading, and you may need to do more than one coat on white paper, and probably on black as well, just depending on how thick you want it. But you can definitely paint this stuff on, and it's so pretty. Yeah, I spilled a little. Now, I stamped those out and um, with black Versfine... Vers um, nocturne ink and then i uh, heat embossed them with clear embossing powder and the stamps that i used are from this stamp set um i can't think of the name of it but i'll put it in the description box below i somehow have hidden the wrapper to it <laughs> but they're simon hurley's latest release um but you can paint with it and then uh i put some and a little plastic bottle, just get the clean up, just clean up the brush, the same thing, just some water and rub it off on a paper towel and it cleans up perfectly. Voila. So uh, you can see a little bottle laying there and I had just put some in that little bottle to see if it would squeeze out. And that's what I did the umbrella handle with. And I'm just gonna try and make just some little dots. Um, I'm not fantastic at these things. We'll, we'll see if they lay down or not. For now, they're making little ice creams. But you can dot it out. I imagine if you had it in the right container. That's a glue bottle. It's just what I had. But, uh, again, cleanup is really easy. I love how easy it is to clean this stuff up. Let's do now the heavier application. So I'm going to apply the colors there with a palette knife instead of a, instead of the uh, foam pad. But I'm gonna cover my, my stencil with pixie spray there so that it stays nice and stuck. I don't have one of those magnetic toys that everybody has maybe maybe one day but I'm gonna just make a rainbow and I'm gonna let them blend and mix um, pretty much and just scrape it on there and then I'm gonna go in with the letter gator same thing just scrape some on there it's okay if it mixes up a little bit I just want to get it down and I do want to make sure that I don't have any little spaces in there well, we'll get that covered. And then I'm going to go in with the Slippery When Wet. And get that spread out. And this stencil, by the way, is the Bubble Wrap stencil from Simon Hurley. Yeah, we'll go in with the Traffic Cone. Yep, I missed a spot there. And this makes a big old mess, but that's my favorite kind. The outcome is outstanding. Now we'll finish off there on the corner with some bee sting. And I mainly wanted to show the heavy and light application on black paper. Okay, moment of truth here. I'm going to get myself a piece of paper to put my wet product on. Ooh, and we'll just let set that aside and let it dry for a minute. And then I'm just going to take a paper towel and some water and clean up the heavy muck. Cleans up super easy. And then I'm going to do the same with my stencil. And because I don't... I don't really have space to keep a lasagna pan <laughs> so, to throw my stencil in, so I get them as clean as I can right away. 
that's that. Cleaned up lickety split. No problem. Got some on my hands. A little water. Cleaned it up. And then we're going to go in and I'm going to show you the light application on dark paper. And I'm going to pull out Simon's um, stencil Nothing But Net. This makes a really cool kind of abstract psychedelic background. I'm going to go ahead and coat that in a little bit of pixie spray and lay it on my paper. And then I'm going to go in with a straighter application this time with just three colors because um, it's mostly just for review and demo purposes, but it works like a dream, I'm telling you. So I'm going to go back to the foam pads here as the light application. My poor, poor foam pad is ready for the garbage. And just uh, lay it down in circular motions, back and forth, whatever, whatever's comfortable with, with your hands. And I'm going to go in with the later gator and just blend it in light application it doesn't look like you can really see much but you'll see when I pull it off what a cool effect this thing has and then I will go in with the beasting and same thing just rubbing circular motions pull my stencil off and that thing will be dry in like two minutes isn't that gorgeous now this stencil is a little bit tougher to clean because it's got all those really small parts, but it cleans up just fine. There we go. And once it's diluted, I don't mind using my washcloth to clean it up. I'll go ahead and just try one more thing i saw somebody mention on another video i was watching last night let's see if we can brayer it on but you'll see here i have some sort of a technical difficulty with my brayer and obviously i can't fit my brayer in the jar so i'm just going to spread a little bit out on my mat and that's a that's just a baking mat that i got on amazon um that we never used see my um brayer doesn't want to roll it's being a stinker but i'm stubborn I'm more stubborn than it is. So I'm going to try and brayer that onto the stamp. Fight with a little bit more, get my hands messy. But will it stamp? Will it stamp? Yes, it will. We'll get a little bit of thickness there on the top, but that's most likely my brayer work. But clean up real super simple. I'm just going to go ahead and take my um, Tim Holtz little um, brayer and wipe it down the cool thing about those is you can get the roller wheel off so it's a lot easier to clean the sides of the wheel so there we go and then just a couple more things here's some of the stuff we've done here um, that one's still wet so we can't really look at it but it's you know it's almost dry and I could take a heat gun to it but Here's one I did that I used the um, inks, the coordinating inks, and then, you know, I could not not make a Christmas card. <laughs> There's no way. And so what we're going to see here now, let's see how this stuff actually embosses. Let's, can we emboss on here? I don't know. Let's find out. So I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab one of Tim Holtz's distress embossing glazes. So that would match better the antique linen, but I'm gonna go with the rusty hinge because I just love that color. And that's nice and wet, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not worried about it because it's just a sample. I'm not worried about it getting everywhere. But I'm going to go ahead and heat that up with my heat tool, which I didn't warm up in advance because this was kind of like, oh, shoot, I forgot to do that. So I'm doing it now. And um, indeed, it embosses beautifully. And that, again, is Distress Glaze that I used in the Rusty Hinge. And then let's check some glitter. And the, I'm going to use some of this clear skies and I'm gonna go in with my clear rock candy glitter so let's see if it'll glitter 
And guys, I want to thank you. Um, I need to let you know that I'm not being paid to do this review. I do not work for Ranger, nor do I work for Simon Hurley. I just am a big fan of the products. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a note in the comments. Whatever. I thank you so much for checking out my little lunar paste video and having a great day.